Hey Hoopheads, today I want to break down the Lakers' great 112-107 win over the Oklahoma City Thunder. In this game, AD had 34 points, 7 boards, 4 assists, 4 steals, 2 blocks, LeBron had 25 points, 11 boards, 10 assists, 2 steals, and right now the Lakers are posting a 100.5 defensive rating which has them second place in the league, only 0.1 behind Utah, and they have a net rating of plus 9.1, which has them in first place, 0.1 ahead of Milwaukee. Let's get into it. As LeBron brings the ball up the court and Green comes to set a screen, let's check out where the OKC defense is. Green and LeBron realize this, so Green slips the screen, heads to the basket, and by the time Steven Adams starts to react, Danny Green is already at the basket, easy deuce, Great pass to thread the needle from LeBron there. On this play, Danny Green curls off an AD screen and Green throws it back out to AD. Now watch Gallo's closeout on AD. Look how straight up he is. When you close out, you need to be a lot lower in your stance or else your man is going to blow by you, which is exactly what happens here. Easy bucket, Shea Gilgis Alexander can't get there in time. This fast break by LeBron is just an incredible athletic feat. He takes it coast to coast, Gallinari fouls him, LeBron shrugs it off, gets the dunk, no problem for LeBron in year 17, he's looked great this season. Here Rondo gets trapped in the corner, tries to throw the pass to AD, results in a turnover, but AD doesn't hang his head, he gets back on defense, gets into the passing lane, gets the steal, that's good work to get back on D by AD. Now here is LeBron's bringing the ball up the floor, look where Nerland's Noel is. He's the only rim protector the Thunder have on the floor right now, so LeBron knows if he can just get a step past him, he has a free run to the rim. Him. He does it. He gets the bucket. Nice work by LeBron. Great recognition. Here as the Lakers get back in transition, they get a cross match of AD onto Dennis Schroeder. Schroeder fakes him out with the pump fake, and when he drives to the rim, LeBron does a great job of stunting toward him, but anticipating the pass to Noel. Breaks it up, gets the steal, takes it the other way. Nice little bit of give and go action. Great finish by AD. There aren't too many bigs who can finish at a full speed like that. And now another defensive play from LeBron in transition. He's waiting in the passing lane. Schroeder throws the pass without really looking. LeBron tips it, gets it. Great save by AD to keep it in the backcourt. LeBron's going the other way for the easy dunk. And that's a combination of nice anticipation by LeBron and bad awareness by Schroeder on that play. Here, Noel and Schroeder run a dribble handoff. Then Noel flips the screen. Schroeder comes off it. Then Noel dives to the basket, but AD does a great job of getting back Breaking it up, nice awareness by AD of what the Thunder were trying to do there. On this play, the Thunder play good defense for almost a full possession until Dwight comes to set the screen on Rondo. As Dwight goes to the basket, Basley unnecessarily comes down to help, even though Adams is still connected to Dwight. This leaves Kuzma wide open for the three, he drains it, nice play by the Lakers, way to take advantage of the rookie. Now in transition, LeBron hits Terrence Ferguson with a nice behind the back dribble, collapses the Thunder defense. And that leaves Nerlens Noel, the Thunder's only big man, out defending LeBron in the corner. Rondo notices this, and as CP3 shifts his momentum toward Rondo, Rondo takes off in a dive to the basket, gets the easy layup, and there's nobody there to protect the rim. Here, watch LeBron work for post position against the smaller Ferguson. He seals him, Rondo throws the pass over the top, and now LeBron's reading the defense. As he spins baseline, Rondo makes a cut, and we see Rondo's court vision in play again with a nice touch pass to the corner to Caruso, who drains the three. This is a really complex play by the Thunder. Chris Paul tosses it to Nerlens, then rejects SGA's screen to cut the other way. Then SGA comes off the dribble handoff, and Dwight does a nice job of containing him. Now as SGA drives on Dwight, Rondo steps up. Then KCP runs out to Chris Paul, who takes him off the dribble. Dwight steps up again. Then Caruso runs Ferguson off the line, and Dwight's there yet again. And finally, KCP does a good job of making things uncomfortable for Nerlens Noel as he bricks the shot. Nice rotations by the Lakers. These are just a couple nice fast break bounce passes by Rondo on back-to-back -back plays. The Lakers had 30 fast break points this game, a lot of them off of OKC turnovers. On this play, Terrence Ferguson gets hung up on the Dwight screen, KCP dives to the hoop, and as he does, Steven Adams is worried about AD coming in from the weak side. Dwight takes advantage, gets up, gets the board, gets the put back. Nice work by Dwight. And then straight away on the other end, Chris Paul comes down in attack mode and Dwight gets beat, but he does a great job recovering to block the shot, send it back the other way, and Lakers are going to score in transition again here. Gallinari is worried about AD, loses track of Danny Green, and we all know Danny Green is money when he gets that open shot. 
Nice two-way play from Dwight on that sequence. Now with the half coming to a close, Schroeder goes a little bit too early. Lakers get the board, get out in transition. Rondo with a beautiful one-handed pass over the shoulder to LeBron who throws it down with authority. Beautiful play from the Lakers to end the half. These next two defensive plays show a nice feature that's pretty unique to the Lakers having two seven-footers on the floor. As AD closes out, Terrence Ferguson takes it to the holes met by McGee. Then on the next play, McGee gets beat off the dribble by Chris Paul, but AD's waiting there to block the shot. That's great tandem defense by the Lakers bigs. And there aren't too many teams in the league that you'll see a sequence from like that. On this play, SGA attacks Danny Green off the dribble, but McGee's there with the help defense to get the strip. LeBron takes it the other way, throws a beautiful bounce pass through a tight window. AD finishes at a full sprint. That's great defense, a beautiful pass from LeBron, and a nice finish from AD to avoid the shot blocker Noel. This play is an example of how having LeBron and AD on your team makes easy shots for other players. As AD comes over to set the screen, LeBron rejects it, takes it to the right. Nerlens has to step into position to help. So when LeBron passes to AD, SGA has to come up and help on him. This leaves KCP wide open in the corner for three and he drains it. On this play, LeBron gets the ball in the mid range and he's just looking and waiting for somebody to make a mistake on defense. As he jab steps, all eyes are on him and when CP3 loses track of his man, KCP cuts to the hoop, LeBron finds him, easy basket. As Rondo brings the ball up, AD's trotting alongside him and it looks like they're gonna go into a pick and roll and that's what Nerlens Noel thinks too. Nerland starts shading towards Rondo, AD reads it, dives to the hoop, and Rondo finds him with a beautiful alley-oop pass. Great finish by AD. On this play here, we just get a nice shot contest from McGee. And then on this next play, we get a similar thing, but let's look at Alex Caruso on the backside. As McGee comes over to help on the ball handler, Steven Adams dives to the basket, and a lot of times this will result in an easy putback for the offensive team. But Caruso gets back, breaks up Steven Adams' putback attempt. That's nice work by Alex Caruso on the backside. Now in the fourth quarter, LeBron starts to take over. He goes God mode with a couple of threes, a nice floater. He really had it going towards the end of this game. And now we're going to see him work with AD in the pick and roll. AD sets the pick and Nerlens has to come over and trap LeBron. As LeBron throws the pass, look where Gallinari is on the weak side. He's glued to McGee and he has no chance of getting there in time to stop AD's rim run. That's just not good enough positioning from Gallinari on that play. He needs to step up the second he see Nerlens go out to trap. And now on this last play, check out the ball pressure. Great work by AD to get up on Gallo and then check out KCP off ball denying Chris Paul the easy pass. This allows AD to put even more pressure on Gallo. The ball winds up with Nerlens on LeBron. That's not going to go anywhere. It goes back to Gallo as AD continues to pressure him. Doesn't go for the pump fake. Gallo gets called for the travel which may have been a bad call but the Lakers will take it and they'll go on to take the win as well. Overall in this game I was impressed with the Lakers defense and I was really impressed with their ability to get out into transition and finish some tough shots. They had great passing and did a really good job of taking advantage of OKC's mistakes. Thanks for watching and if you want to see more videos like this, hit that subscribe button and let me know what you thought of the Lakers game in the comments.